How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another review on the channel. Now tonight, we've seen two showdown players. You guys know what happens with showdowns. Basically, if they win, like can you on the bench, they go up a rating. Well, two ratings actually if they do win. Whilst the other version stays at the same level. But if they draw, they both go up one level like Kleber and Marlin actually did too. So we're actually going to review the brand new ones today in two separate videos. And that's why I'm doing this kind of new... It's not even new, boys. I'm just changing my format, basically. And that is why I'm getting more out to you guys. So we're going to review uh, Herman, probably in this video, and Zinchenko uh, in the next one. As for the matchup, dude, who do I think is going to improve from the showdown? Manchester City on um, on Gladbach, right? Manchester City. I, I reckon this guy is going to go to 87, uh, and Herman will stay as an 86. But again, it's all up in the air. They could draw, and they could both get a plus one. What I don't understand about both these SPCs, actually, is why these players? Left back, showdown wise, left back, we got Acuna. Why a triple price? Acuna, like, Acuna, what was his price? Around 100k, less than 100k, compared to Zinchenko, who we'll see right now, is 300,000 coins. 300! Premier League bias is nuts. Uh, and we got Herman as well. And, like, comparison to Herman. We've had Bellarabi before as a German right winger in the Bundesliga. Like I said, we're going to review him in a day. So if you do enjoy, you know what to do. You bring that hype, you smash that like, you subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. And make sure you drop a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about Herman. I just realized he's got... What's his work rates all about, man? Don't know, boys. Medium high work rates for an attacker. What's going on here? Uh, Four-star skills, three-star weak parts. Um, I, I'm kind of taken back by his, I've never even seen his work rates yet, boys. I haven't actually seen his work rates. So, uh, it's going to be very interesting to try this guy out. I've looked at his stats. I thought, you know what, let's uh, put a certain camp style on him. But I never even once looked at his work rates, medium to high. I suppose, actually, no. Even in a 5-3-2 and a 3-5-2, a lot of people advance their wingers. Why have high defensive work rate on that? Like, it's going to be very interesting to see what Herman does provide the team. In terms of tributes, he provides a lot. I used to finish on him to boost certain attributes, including balance. He's got pushes on his... Oh, lads, I'm not too sure about these SPCs. Uh, he's got acceleration. The kaz like, up the Kazooie. You know what I'm saying? He's got 95 acceleration, 84 sprint speed. That should be really, really good acceleration to burst away from his man. Attacking positions on points. But again, could work rates actually dictate where he's placed on the pitch. Um, it's 87, plus 5 on that too, to 92. Finishing, 84, going to 99 with the finisher camp style. Uh, I expect he's going to get some opportunities today. I hope he does anyways. Uh, 84 shot power, going to 94. 83 long shots, 77 in terms of volleys and 69 penalties. The passing looks incredible on this card. 91 vision, 88 crossing for those wide areas to whip in the ball. Uh, 87 shot pass, long pass on the low sides. And uh, 84 curve as well. The dribble looks great, so you get the composure of 76. I can't believe that. Uh, it's got 85 agility, 82 balance, 88 reactions, really good. Uh, 86 ball control and 87 dribble. And again, going to 99. So it'll be very interesting to try this chem style to see if it actually works. And take his agility to 95, his balance to 87, and his dribble to 99. I just want to see if it actually makes an impact. Um, 76 composure, like I did say. Stamina is only 80. Is that good enough? Is that good enough? Uh, he's got 70 jumping and terrible strength and aggression at 66 and 68 respectively. Player traits! What is what does that do? Team player? Dude, I'm not I'm not convinced. In terms of the price coming in on the market, 150,000 coins. I think I've made a mistake, boys. <laughs> I think I'm in trouble. I think I have made a mistake here, lads. Uh, but we're gonna review today for you guys, so if you do enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff. And I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section below on the showdown. Zinchenko or Herman? We're going to find out. Reviews are coming tonight. This is the first. Expect the next one up in um, soon, actually. So, Herman, what you got about you? Let's get into the gameplay. Wait, what's Herman's weak foot again? It's actually a really good one, too, actually. That touch was heavy, but actually got past his man. Oh, that oh, acceleration was key. How have I not scored there? Hey, can we get another chance, please? <gasps> what a touch! Secondary touch! Tertiary touch. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, nice, Jones. Nice. Coleman. Herman the German. Yes, man! Herman the German, boys. Uh, back in old school, FIFA, that what he used to call Patrick Herman. Uh, that is a great finish, actually. In off the post, too. So it doesn't even count as shot on targets. 
That is a sensational finish by Herman. The workers didn't seem to matter there, boys. And if you do play him in the attacking position, he's going to drop off slightly. Uh, but that could benefit you into... Um, look at this. I've got him at right striker here. Look, he's dropped off a little bit into space. That could help you a lot. Uh, he's going to do one, two with Coleman, hopefully. Didn't help me at all. Pass down line. It kills. That's a lovely pass, by the way, in the Kingsley Coleman. Zip this across, mate. Nice, nicer. Uh, Go, boys. Herman with the goal. And all came from Zinchenko, too. With the pass down the line. But Herman does make it 2-1 in the match. Patrick Herman in the right position. Waycrits don't seem too much of an issue right now. They are noticeable. But it's not an issue. That's nice. Heal the heal. Go for the finish. Oh, oh I rubbed the dope then. He still didn't score. Herman, he's got the cutback there, too. Oh, my good gods. Still good. Oh, Herman. Herman, oh, dude, he, that was a bit clunky, boys. Oh, he stopped his run, boys. He's coming, though. Actually. Oh, Herman. Oh, that was the plan. A free ball. Oh, he's actually done it today as well. He was coming. Herman. Oh, that's a great finish, bro. Great finish by Herman. Getting back this game. It is what it is. Herman's on the score sheets. It is what it is. He actually took a really bad touch, but he's got a chance. I thought he put it wide. I'm not even going to cap, boys. I thought that was wide. <laughs> Three minutes to go. The comeback is on, lads. The comeback is on. Good finish by Herman again. But again, you don't expect players to miss from there anyways. Herman, make a run. I've got a last chance. Herman, make a run. Dude, he doesn't get forwards. I've got to go to Coleman and then skin him. Hey, get a cut back, bro. Boom! Get on, boys. Minus... One minute, 20 seconds to go. I can celebrate too. For no reason. Absolutely no reason at all. So there we have it then, lads, for Herman. We'll start with Herman before getting on to Zinchenko later on that review. Uh, he scores goals. He does score goals. It's just getting him into the chances to score. His movement actually wasn't as limiting in the first game as I thought it would be. But then you start to notice little nuances. Is that the words? Nuances? I, like, I think it's nuances, but you start noticing little things where he drop a little bit deeper than usual, deeper than strikers. Sometimes that can be a benefit, where he gets into the camp position, he's in space. Sometimes it could be a nuisance when you want him to overlap to through ball it, because you guys know in this game how important through balls can be to a, a PC striker, a PC winger, a PC attacker in general. He didn't do that too often, boys. He didn't do that too often. As a right midfielder, it's an issue. The medium high will always be an issue because you want to... Was also right midfielders and left midfielders, you kind of want to counter attack with them and have them supporting your attack. This guy with the medium attacking work rates is not going to put his all into attacking. It is what it is. Um, what he will do is come back on the counter so hard and uh, get back and use his might to get back into position. But on the offense, he doesn't put that same energy in. He does not put that same energy in. And I noticed it whilst playing in the games as well. He dropped that a little bit deeper. Didn't like it too, too much. But, again, it does have its benefits from time to time. Four-star skills came in handy a lot of times. Sometimes I even forgot he had four-star skills because I knew he had a three-star something. But, um, he did miss some easy chances from time to time. Honestly, I reckon he could have scored more than the five in the two games. Uh, second opponents, he was already battered me 4-0. I actually brought it back to 4-3, but, um, wait, did he score a hat-trick in that match? He actually might have scored a hat-trick in that match. He wasn't that bad, but... Is he worth the SBC, boys? Is he worth the SBC? I would say straight away, if you've got Bellarabi, you've got Leon Bailey on that side within the Bundesliga. You already got a right wing Bundesliga and Leon Bailey. I believe Leon Bailey's a right wing in the Bundesliga. But you've also got this man and you've got Bellarabi. So uh, compare and contrast all of them. I probably played Jin Sancho, all of them tradable Jin Sancho. But um, you've got Bellarabi, don't do it. Don't do it. You've got SBC Leon Bailey and you're looking for a Bundesliga right wing. Do not do it. Uh, he, he does have his benefits, lads, but... Composure effect, he's finishing from time to time. Uh, I, I never truly believed in his finishing. And this, this is what you get from these raw reviews as well, because I can go back and, and summarize and everything like that. But you're getting my instant reaction on the cards. My instant gut feeling is, why the hell did I do this SPC? And then I realized I did it for a review for you guys to warn you probably not to do this SPC. But, um... Nah, it just didn't sit right with me. His passing was good. I've got nothing to complain about his passing. His position was good, but it was kind of 
dictated by his work rights. He, he didn't... He didn't move right. Sometimes I was going attacking. You would have seen the gameplay too. Uh, and he was just standing in like a camp position thinking... When do I go forwards? Just go bloody fo- Oh, dudes! It was frustrating. Um, passing good, crossing good, stuff like that. So again, for a winger, that is very, very good. His finishing wasn't bad in certain areas. It's just, I didn't believe in his finishing. Sometimes he didn't miss easy chances. I think I was down to composure. Zinchenko missed a few more easy chances, but he's a bloody left back. You know what I'm saying? Um, even defence, I don't know why this guy has medium high work rates. Look at his defending, boys. He can't defend, so why does he Maybe he's a work workhorse in real life, but why doesn't he have higher high then? Why does he have medium high? I'll never know, lads. I'll never know. Uh, strength wise, wasn't very strong, got easily pushed off the ball. So again, if a defender gets in between the ball and the attacker, in terms of Herman being a right wing or anywhere in the attack where you do play him, he's going to lose the ball. He doesn't have that sticky, which a lot of people talk about sticky. I think uh, Nick in the foot market does as well. It doesn't quite... Nah, nah, not for me, boys. Not for me. And uh, that, that just means absolutely nothing. So in terms of the SBC, do I think Mongladbach will beat Manchester City? I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Uh, Manchester City, of course, um, they're on fire right now. They're on absolute fire. Mongladbach, not too sure of their form in the Bundesliga. But... I would back Manchester City to win that fixture. And given that he's a hundred and he's 150k now, jeez. 150k wasted if you do do him. Lads, if you want him, you're a fan of Herman, do this SPC. Mon Gladbach fan, by all means do this SPC. Card collects and use him if you do enjoy him. But my advice is to stay clear. Stay clear. If I was to choose between this uh, Zinchenko or Herman. I knocked my console off. Last, thank you very much for watching this review today. In terms of the overall rating, for Herman, the German, he's going to get the rating from myself. And this needs to be like, overall and stuff like that. Probably an 8.4. I wasn't blown away by this card. Uh, but he is capable of doing certain things on the page. Value. I'm just going to say no. <laughs> no. Last, I hope you have enjoyed this review. Keep your eyes peeled. Not literally, figuratively, for the next review coming on Alexander Zinchenko. But uh, thank you very much for watching this one. These are my thoughts. By the way, if you're looking for an end screen, you come this far and say, where is the end screen? What are you in? I've literally just said it. And what I will be doing um, after all these reviews is linking my Instagram in the comments at some stage through the night. I can't do it instantly, lads. Got a lot on right now. But the overall review in the end screen will be over on Instagram, Marshall89YT. Make sure you do check it out. But thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. These are my thoughts on Herman the German. What are your thoughts? Comment section below. We have a great night, and I will catch you all next time.